What will not be effective to protect internet freedom is to continue the IANA functions contract. That contract is far too limited in scope to be a tool for protecting internet freedom. It simply designates ICANN to perform the technical IANA functions of managing the database of protocol parameters, allocating IP numbers, and processing changes to the root zone file. It does not grant NTIA any authority over ICANN's day-to-day -day operations or the organization's accountability to the stakeholder community. The transition plan goes beyond any authority that NTIA or the U.S. government has today by enhancing the power of stakeholders to ensure ICANN's accountability. For example, the U.S. government today has no ability to reject an ICANN budget or to remove an ICANN board member, two of the newly enumerated community powers. Extending the contract, as some have asked us to do, could actually lead to the loss of internet freedom we all want to maintain. The potential for serious consequences from extending the contract beyond the time necessary for ICANN to complete implementation of the transition plan is very real and has implications for ICANN, the multi-stakeholder model, and the credibility of the United States and the global community. Privatizing the domain name system has been a goal of Democratic and Republican administrations since 1997. Prior to our 2014 announcement to complete that privatization, some governments were using NTIA's continued stewardship of the IANA functions to justify their demands that the United Nations, the International Telecommunication Union, or some other body of governments take control over the domain name system. Failing to follow through now on the transition or unilaterally extending the contract will only embolden authoritarian regimes to intensify their advocacy for government-led or intergovernmental management of the internet via the United Nations.